Hello community! I showed you in a video when I compared ChatGPT to Flan T5. Another video where we fine-tuned the parameter of Flan T5 in a free Colab notebook. In the one of the last video we upgraded to T5 XL model. And today we finish it all when we build a graphical user interface over Flan T5 XL. It's a dwarf planet in our solar system. Yes, this is the right answer. <laughs> okay, let's go with another one. Let's go with Beam Search really, really close. Can Barack Obama have a conversation with George Washington? Give the rational before answering. Now let's see what it comes up with now. Now I keep Beam Search really low. George Washington died 1799, was born in 1961. I don't know if it's true, no idea. Uh, both presidents cannot have conversations, so the answer is no. All right, then, let's see about human nature in society. Okay, minimum length, maximum length, beam search, temperature, go. I mean, I would have no idea where to start, to tell you honestly. Human nature and society is very broad topic, so let's see what it comes up with the training data set, what it learned, what it presents us as a first creative approach to this, where we maybe can build our own essay later on. Wow, okay. So, humans are social animals with a sense of duty and responsibility to the society in which they live. Humans being have the instinct, instinctive need to be part of a community, belong to a group, to work for the good of others, to contribute to the well-being of his or her own family, tribe, country, nation, race, and religion. The nature of man is such that he has been born in a society where he is subject of the rules and regulations of that society. At the same time, he finds himself free to do whatever he chooses as long as he conforms to the law of the society he lives in. I mean, not bad, not bad for a first draft. For example, when he joins a religious sect, he becomes a member of that sect because he agreed to its rules and believed that it's right for him to do so. However, once he accepts the rule of the sect, he can no longer feel free. He can no longer feel free to act freely on his own behalf without fear or reprisal from those who rule over him. Wow, this sounds... Dramatic. When he rebels against the rules, he ends up becoming a traitor to the cause of the very people he despises. As a result of his action, he loses his self-respect and begins to see himself as a sinner rather than a law-abiding member of the one he was born into. This leads him down a path of self-delusion and disobeys not only himself but also those around him. In this situation, he will become a victim of another person misdoubting his own morality and thus forfeiting his own rights and privileges by doing so what he did not wish to do. He might even endanger his own dignity and reputation. Wow, this is really a dark, dark summary. My goodness. Okay. Okay, let's go with write an essay about the positive trends of human nature in society. Let's have a look at a little bit more positive feedback. But not bad, not bad. You see that it just copies and pastes from all over the place and just tries to simulate an answer, but okay, I can see the direction where the system is going, trying to go. But of course, the computer infrastructure is, is, is not at all adequate. You need a cluster of GPUs, a cluster of TPUs. And gee, if you think about ChatGPT, can you imagine what Microsoft Azure provides on computer infrastructure? My goodness, it must be extreme. Yeah, and have some extreme emissions. And they use up an energy. Wow, don't think about it. A positive trend of human nature and society is that people are capable of adapting themselves to the environment they live in so that they can become more productive members of society and contribute positively to society. 
For example, by contributing to the development of new technologies such as computer science and information technology. Hey, I like this one. Which will make it easier for them to communicate with each other and improve their quality of life while at the same time making them less dependent on external sources of sustenance like food, clothing, shelter, education. Less dependent on education and healthcare? Ah, I don't know. Socially beneficially trends of human nature in society are that people tend to be more self-reliant to the fact that they do not depend on others for survival, but rather take responsibility for their own well-being through hard work and good deed qualities such as honesty, integrity, loyalty, trustworthiness, kindness, generosity, compassion, empathy, tolerance, patience, perseverance, courage, hope, optimism, creativity, imagination, intelligence, energy, passion, love, friendship, peace, justice, equality, fairness, morality, freedom, liberty, happiness, success. Unbelievable! And all these traits have been associated with human beings since the beginning of humankind. Human nature has always been seen as a very important factor in today's modern society, where there's a wide range of opportunity for those who dare to strive for something greater than mere material gain or economic progress. I like this response. And now you see why I think Flan T5XL is here my preferred language model because it is free. I can build it myself on a free Google Colab notebook. It is open source. I can here modify the parameters. I can play around with the system parameters. And I think it gives you some very interesting starting ground for your own creativity. So if you think this is running on a CPU with two CPU cores and a T4 GPU, imagine what you can do if you are, I don't know, Microsoft or Google or Amazon AWS. My goodness, the future is interesting. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit and I see you in my next video. Oh yeah, maybe I forgot to show you how to build it. Wait a second, wait a second. How to build it. So what do we do? We are here again in our uh, Flan T5 XL notebook. I just say, okay, with radio pip install radio transformers, accelerate bits and bytes, sentence piece. We do this, and then from Transformers, we have our T5 tokenizers and our T5 for conditional generation. And then we go with half precision. So we go with floating point 16 instead of floating point 32, only for the inference task. Of course, we have to, we can half our precision, our mathematical precision, we calculate our tensor operations. And then we download from Hugging Face from pre-trained Google Flan T5 XL and also our model from Google Flan T5 XL. We have a auto device map. Well, with one GPU doesn't make any sense, but anyway, and we have here float 16. We download the files. You see here our 10 gigabyte files and our two gigabyte files. And then we just say, okay, we have to tokenize So we tokenize our input text that we get and we generate the model with a minimum length, maximum token length, and length penalty, the beam search, the neural PN gram size, the temperature. Yeah, this could also integrate top K and top P parameter. I have a fixed repetition penalty of the system included, and it returns to us exactly the answer without any special tokens. And then you just say import radio, examples you don't need them at all and then you say okay you define your inference function with all the parameters that you have as a slider and you say hey my gradio interface so what i have i have my function this is my inference this is more or less only the generate function that we defined here where we define our model and the model output this is all there is with the input text and our slider input from the gu here inputs, we have a text box, then we have slider one, slider two, slider three, and slider four. This is exactly slider one, slider two, slider three, slider four. And as an output, we just have a text box. That's it. And the title of the outbox is XL inference. We have a title, we have examples, or you let go of examples, CSS, forget about it. And then we just say launch, share is true. 
and debug is false, of course, you start with debug is true to see what's going on. Then you get here within your Colab notebook, either your graphical user interface, or I just choose here to follow this Gradio live link. And this is where we ended up. Right, and I say about the positive trends of human age and society, you can build your own graphical user interface here. It runs here, says the link expires in 72 hours, but you can post it, of course, on Hugging Face Spaces. I don't know if you have to pay for this or not. Give it a try. Build your own graphical user interface utilizing free and open source Flyn T5 XL large language model. Have some fun with the interference. Get some ideas. Play around a little bit with some system parameters or add some adjustable system parameters if you have some specific interesting applications you want to build upon. It provides some food for sorts. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. You go and you experience yourself with your topics you're interested in. And as you can see, you do not have to pay for chat GPT professional or Microsoft Azure professional. You can use this here even on the minimum configuration of a CPU and a GPU. And you get some very interesting results in the future. And my belief is that I hope we move away from this critical, huge IT infrastructure and we have more clever system, more logic and more insight in the system because currently the computer infrastructure that we use, the hundreds and thousands of GPU clusters, this is, this is not the way forward. But this will be the topic of another video. I say thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. I'll see you in my next video.